the metro area. Aurora police taking out their bear, an armored vehicle that can handle almost any condition to get those stranded drivers to safety. And now the snow has stopped. The focus is on clearing up the roads. And Fox 31 Denver's Amanda Zitzman is live in Aurora with a look at the conditions that drivers are experiencing right now. Amanda. Well, here is the very latest. I-70 eastbound is open to Air Park Road, but closed to Kansas. It's icy, though, so use caution if you do have to be out on the roadways. And a heads up for those trying to make their way to the airport, the westbound ramp to northbound Airport Boulevard, that is still shut down. Two semis are stuck there in addition to the tow truck sent to help them. So even though the snow has stopped falling, we're not out of the, out of the woods yet. Hitting the road with photojournalist on Hel Rosado. One of our live trucks, M1, is stuck, guys. We're going to go ahead and get that taken care of. Our day began like many others with a live truck stuck in inches of snow. We just got a call from a woman who said that she's been stranded in traffic on I-70 for about seven hours. Eventually, we headed towards the eastern plains, taking the side roads with traffic snarled on I-70 and snow totals a whopping 20 inches. Oh, I've seen people all over the road. I've seen two wrecks. The Aurora PD Bearcat was out rescuing stranded travelers, and there were many. You gotta help people out instead of just driving by and, you know, watching them struggle. From I-70 and Tower to I-25 and Monument, drivers have been stuck for hours relying on tow trucks to fill their gas tanks. And so they want to know, well, why am I still sitting here? What is CDOT doing about this? CDOT's had close to 100 plows out since the blizzard began, but so much snow fell so quickly they couldn't keep up. It's a dangerous situation out there right now. Yeah, people don't need to be driving tonight. They should not. Many chose to bunker down, like Cody Netterville. i got a newborn baby at the hotel and my wife, and I'm trying to, trying to get there to them and just... And we are hearing a lot of police scanner traffic in regards to road closures. So it is a very fluid situation out here. For instant updates on road conditions, you can go to our website, kdvr.com. Live along I-70, Amanda Zitzman, Fox 31, Denver. Amanda, thank you. On the Eastern Plains, a major mess for drivers. Take a look right here. This was a scene in Watkins this afternoon.